Hey everyone, and welcome back to River's Bend Episode 3. And this one, I think you're really going to enjoy. Strap yourself in, because this episode is a longer one, but it's for a very good reason. Now without further ado, let's move straight on into the time lapse. Alright everyone, so the last two episodes of River's Bend have really struck a chord with the community and the town is really building up quickly. Now I'm excited and you should be too for what's in store for this particular area. Now in today's video we're going to focus on a shop area and a new house that is bigger and better than before. Now the shops are going to be a part of the town square, the, uh, so you'll see that in the end that it came together very nicely. There's a ton of really small details and environmental details that we worked very hard on, hard on building and making realistic while keeping this town looking absolutely stunning. Now, Rivers Bend is definitely a prosperous town, so it makes sense that the markets reflect that. So because of that, there's actually minimal like tents and small like stalls, but instead there are brick and mortar shops that are meant to last and bring trade in and out of the area for a long time. Now, I'm not going to continue gushing about this because if I did, I could talk for hours, but this build is really, really cool, and I'd rather you just be able to see it in the walkthrough. Now, as always, I'm just going to say consider subscribing if you like the content, want to see more awesome builds, uh, hit the, you know, uh, notification button, all that other good stuff. It's, you know, typical YouTube stuff. But in the meantime, here's a little bit of music. I'll meet you again in just a moment. Hey everybody and welcome back. So I hope you enjoyed that time lapse. But as you can see, we had a lot going on in this most recent time lapse and I just can't wait to give you the walkthrough. Now this was a joint effort between some of our community builders, myself, uh, Dreaming and Sound or Palpable Defeat, Adam and Rames. We all came together, kind of worked this out. I did a lot of the main structures, uh, but I'm going to point out a little bit of what each person did. I think it's going to be really cool for you to be able to see this. So you remember episode two, we stopped at this house and this house and going up a little bit further, you can see here we have the marketplace and then another massive home. So I'm going to give you the marketplace tour first because I really like that. I think it's pretty cool. But as you can see here, we have just the ramp up. Um, we have a small like food cart of our stall just right here. Um, a small little pottery area here, which you will be able to see as to why in just a moment. And there's actually multiple ways up here. There's actually three. There's one there, there, and right over there. But um, you can see here we have this statue. Now, this statue right off the bat was made by Palpable Defeat or Papa Palps or Dreaming and Sound. And you can see it's just, it's really, really cool. Um, Adam and I, uh, we actually added the water down below because it was just here, but we like the water. But look at this. Look at the statue. Look how cool. It's like holding a scroll. It's got a staff. It has a cape. It definitely looks really, really good with the small scale of this statue. And to me, it's just absolutely fantastic. And then we have just a small little seating areas, you know, stuff like that for people to hang out, have some drinks, gossip, all that good stuff. Now, another thing I want to point out is just these shops themselves. So I worked on this one and this one and adam kind of built the outline of this one now i did tweak it i changed the roof i changed some of the textures stuff like that but he came with the basic outline and it really worked out well they're all kind of joined together but of course their own separate shops so i will go over a little bit more detail of the exterior but first we're going to go here to the left and this is a pottery shop so this is going to be where people would have stuff for their plants, um, for their collectible vases, like some higher end stuff in the back, uh, just things like that. So this is where, you know, the people of Riversbend will be able to shop around for the nicer things that they want to add, both exterior wise and interior. But you have it here. Lots of shelving. We have a transaction going on, a shovel if you want to buy that and start, you know, like maybe if you want to do a little bit of hard work, even though they don't here, if you want to do a little bit, it's there. We have this small little register area that, once again, you can kind of just hang out in, you know, guide people, kind of help them, you know, find the right thing that's for them. And like I said, higher price items right here on the back. Now, the cool part is about these shops is that just like in true medieval times, 
they do live on the top section as well now once again these are shop owners so this does not mean that they're super wealthy it just means that they're doing okay but right here you can see we have this small little kitchenette almost um it's very cramped but it looks really cool and since they are a little bit nicer not everyone just has a large fire some of them do have a in a sense stove now granted this is or an oven so this is not like the exact kind of texture and stuff that i wanted but conquest reforged only goes so far so that's why we are that's why we have it here as it is today but once again really cool kitchen area really nifty very compact and then if you come out here you can see the bedroom once again is very compact you have the bed a dresser uh just a storage chest and basic stuff like that now like i said this is not going to be the fanciest of fancy homes but that's because it's mainly acts as a shop um if you look at it in a sense you know technically the owners could be part of the family members who live in the nicer houses or something like that and they just kind of you know bunk there if it's late at night or they're just tired too too tired to go home now this right here is a really cool change in in uh layout and everything but we have this really cool rug shop now uh, th the thing I find most interesting about this is Adam actually completely designed the interior and he did these rugs like very layered. They're just vertical slabs. Some of these are in the floor. Some of them are carpet laying on top, but it, it shows a good use of space and how it all works together. And I just couldn't be more excited and proud about this. We have a rolled up one here. We have some hanging on the walls. Uh, just it's just the, the detail is here. And it just looks fantastic. This rug shop looks phenomenal. And it also gives us a very good idea as to how many different types of carpets and stuff like that are in Conquest Reforged, which there's way more than even this. Here you can see some looms for repairing and things like that. We have, uh, this would be like needles, threads, merchandise, stuff like that to have in here. And then, of course, the counter itself. Um, just a really cool aspect here. Very cool layout. Makes great use of the space given. And then up here, we're actually going to have the bedroom again. So we have this wall. You can see outside. You're going to go through this door, and here is the kitchen. So this, you know, ha um, this oven kind of has, like, its, its pipeway that goes up. We have some uh, recipe books, some things like that on the shelf here. Kettle, um, you know, a small dining table. And then just, uh, once again, more kitchen utensils, dishes, uh, plates, cups, things like that. Once again, the cool... Be cool thing is is these windows go all the way to the ground that was actually an intentional choice uh we wanted it to go with the shopkeeper having their background maybe potentially from another nation or things like that um that that's just kind of the architecture that they like so they built their shop that way to kind of you know r remind them of home here we have these gorgeous huge double doors and this beautiful beautiful bedroom nice double beds painting above things like that like i said th th this is the kind of stuff that i really really enjoy with this and once again you can also see out into the square but lots of good detail here nice layered roofing really came out well uh and and this build was just fantastic you can see it's it's kind of layered all the way around here so yeah definitely kudos on that uh this whole build is really really interesting very unique and i couldn't be more proud of adam this was the, pretty much one of his first like actual builds on the server uh, and it just came out well now this shop here is actually going to be a bookstore and palpable defeat dreaming and sound or papa paps made this one up and you can see here we're using the most out of the art of craft overlay but lots and lots and lots of books with these really cool decorations this is the the counter essentially right the um this is just some spats spots where they have some additional storage this really cool like little nook here it just looks fantastic once again it's all about framing it's all about making it look good and this made it look absolutely fantastic you get here you can get a good book you know you can do what you need to do and it comes out great we're going to lift this up and so this is where the bookkeeper you know and the merchant would be able to sell them talk to you about you know which ones are, are the end thing at the time or just which ones are good literature and here of course once again some more detailing here on the back just absolutely phenomenal a very small space but they made it work and paps did fantastic on this as well once again we're going to go up to the bedroom but right off the bat you're going to come up here 
We're gonna have this cool oven, and each one's designed a little differently, and that's one thing I really enjoyed about it. This kitchen is perfect. It's absolutely just wonderful. Just the right amount of space, just the right amount of decoration. Everything about it just is fantastic. And then if you come in here, we have a small little study for the owner themselves to learn more about their trade and learn more about what's going on in the world. And, you know, maybe even jot down a diary or, or a journal or things like that. It's a really cool aspect to have. And then when you come in here, we have the actual bedroom. Love this headboard. It looks absolutely cool. And then obviously they are a person of their trade. They have, you know, more bucks. We have um, the wardrobe and things like that and just a nice little beautiful clock here on the table and then curtains going over the windows a little bit of privacy but yeah once again fantastic interior absolutely cool i couldn't be more excited about all this um, a lot of the new builds i can't wait to show y'all um, i'm holding off until they're fully decorated but there's a lot more in this world than what you're seeing here so definitely like stay tuned now i will go over these stalls real quick and then get into the main house but as you can see here we have um, just a small little shop here. So like, you know, you have your big shops and you have these small little tents. So right here is actually like a, a wood maker. So like a carpenter kind of like repair area, uh, things like that. So like, you know, if you have something small, like, oh, like my, my, my chair, the leg broke or something like that, you can bring to this guy and he would fix it potentially on the spot. So it's a really cool aspect to bring that realism to life here. And then over here, you also have the wine shop. Now, you know, this is <laughs> this is if you wanted to, you know, you're, you're enjoying the sun, you're really having it, and you want to buy some wine, this is where you would go to get it. Uh, wines, alcohol, uh, whatever the case may be, this is where you have it. Now, back here, we have some projects. You can see there. Uh, but we added some trees here. Uh, this is from H. Franz Tree Pack. Um, he has his, uh, him and a few other creators have their own tree pack that's available for purchase, but it definitely adds some good realistic trees to the world. Now, this is the big one. This is a massive house. So I'm going to kind of make it quick. I know this video is getting longer. So right off the bat, we have the foyer area. This house, house is almost laid out exactly like all the other ones. Foyer. You walk in, you can sit, you can relax. Lots of details here. Lots of layering. Um, things like that. If you go down here, we actually have a very, very small cellar. And it's really cool because Paps and Adam helped. Uh, well, they pretty much did this whole thing. I'm pretty sure I just added this and that was all. Um, but really cool spot right here. Really cool spot. And like I said, we're going to have like a lore book in this chest and everything like that. It's going to come out really well. Great cellar. Once we come out of the foyer, we're going to go into the actual like living room part one, I guess you could say. And it's just a really cool spot. You can see it's more of, I guess it's like a widened hallway really and truly. Out here you have the back door, which we'll get to in just a moment. But you're going to cut through here. And this is actually a little supply closet. You can see we got some brooms. You've got some clothes that need washing, stuff like that. Really cool spot. Um, it's just a little jut out. And of course you can see outside on the street, really nifty area. Over here to the right, you're going to see the kitchen. Now, I designed this kitchen, and it's very open, which is a good thing. Uh, you, you know, this family would be wealthier, so they would probably have multiple people working in this um, all throughout the day. So you'd want the space for people to be able to run around and do what they need to do. But this is the kitchen. Really cool, I, I think. It definitely matches all the other kitchens in Rivers Bend. So definitely, definitely fits the theme. Now, here... You can see we have this amazing log or brick fireplace. We have some books and stuff here. We have some behind. And then we also have this moose skull. Like I said, it just came out really cool. It's a massive area, but it's just, it's really nifty. It's cozy. It's really, really cozy. And all these arches are kind of on like weird off centers, I guess you could say, or off blocks. It came out well. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go up the stairs. You see, we got the narrow little hallway, and then we have the dining area. So this was a little bit of a change. Instead of the dining area being on the bottom, we actually made it on the top. Once again, we have like you know some um, some work here. Came out really well in my opinion. It looks pretty fancy. And then here, of course, of course, like you know dishes, cups. Once again, and then a nice little dining area. Here, if you take a left, we're gonna have a small children's room. Decorated very nicely, just like a, that's supposed to be a toy. Uh, small bed, window to the outside, and just simple. I mean, nothing too crazy. It's a kid's room. We're not going to get too too insane there. And then here we actually have the master bedroom. Uh, once again, very huge. Uh, lots of space. We have curtains coming on certain parts of the windows, things like that. But lots of space. Just It just looks good. I, like, I love the rug in contrast of the bed on contrast with the curtains. To me, it just really comes together. 
Uh, I might tweak it a little bit more, but this is how it looks as, as of now. And once again, I really like it. So now what I'll do is real quick, I'll bring it to the backyard and that will be pretty much that. So if you come out this door, you have small little steps, you have firewood hanging out right there. You have some barrels, the large, large chimney, but what you also have is a small seating area. You can sit down and just relax, enjoy it, get in the shade of this beautiful tree. And then we just have a small, like not garden, but just like a grassy area, more for like kind of peace and tranquility type of thing really like zen out you know in the backyard and then of course we have just your typical clutter we have some you know cards some jars some barrels things like that to really come alive um adam and i believe rames did this backyard and they also did this seawall here which came out really really well so definitely definitely really cool feel and then we have this path upwards where we also have some more clutter but it just works out really really well once again it's all about those nooks and cranes it's about those small things now, last but not least, I want to show you all this. So this is actually a bridge. Um, I designed the kind of the base of the bridge. However, um, Palpitable Defeat actually made this roof. And I think it looks really, really cool. I mean, if you're looking, it fits the theme of the village. It, it really shows off how, how wealthy and how upper class this area is. And it's just, it's a fantastic looking bridge by all means. And I'm just really happy. It's a very smooth transition up. You can look out. You can look out this way. You can see some things over there that are going to be shown for later. And, but yeah, so that's pretty much that. So let me give you a quick little flyover so you can kind of see what we're looking at. You can see here these houses are, like I said, joined up. They're all just kind of against each other, but it came out really, really well. We obviously have some plants for up here. And then we have the tents once more. We have the very, very large house, like almost obnoxiously large house <laughs> and uh then it just feeds into everything else that we've done but yep that's pretty much it uh, i really uh, appreciate you know you watching this video and taking the time out uh, rivers bend is a really cool project and i'm really excited to keep building and work with the community to build some more but uh well as always thank you all so much for tuning in thank you to my patreon um you know people my my uh, youtube membership peeps all y'all do help support this channel and it means a lot to me that you actually you know take your money to support me it, it really does mean a lot so thank you as always but um until the next video this is the legendary purpose signing off i hope all y'all have a good day happy gaming i'll catch you again for the next one